at long last, after 20 episodes, 16 chapters plus guided maps of not getting any guiding rings, I can finally promote my magic users. Which is what I would say. However, there are still some chests in here, and this could be a guiding ring. Why do you give me the goddess icon to mock the fact that there is no god here? There is no meme. This is just a threat. Hey, welcome back to FV6 Randomized. Last time... Alright, that's some money, that's good. Last time I approached this chapter really dumb. I'll fully admit that fact. But this time... Uh, I will learn from my mistakes. Okay, another spear. That's really good. Especially now that we know that they have the hammer effect. I can, I can get some spears. That's just something to sell. Oh, by the way, his, uh, Worm Slayer broke. That's how he's being kept there. Okay, so we got a goddess icon. A barrier. That's... That's not useless. It's not too useful right now, but... Alright. The main highlight of this chapter, or this episode, is going to be that we finally will have Dick and Lot promoted. After so much toil, trouble, woo, and pain... I can finally promote them. So, we are going to buy two guiding rings and one hero crest purely in case I never see one for the rest of the game and Roy has that weird demotion that can happen in, uh, what's his nuts map? Oh, when he gets the binding blade. So, Lot. We are going to have the healthiest bishop you've ever seen in your life. Uh, he has an A rank. Did he just lose movement? He just lost one movement. Even when I win, I lose. Alright. I didn't even consider the fact that I would lose movement on promotion. Even though, like, yeah... Oh, that's a really cool-looking druid. Even though, like, yeah, that makes sense. Honestly, his stats aren't terrible. His movement went down to five. He went from eight to five. Saying no matter what, even when things are great, they still suck. Even when I win, I lose. Uh, uh. Alright, alright, sure, sure. What, whatever, man. Whatever. Oh, that... Oh. Alright, well, here's the next thing I'm gonna do. I'm gonna buy an angelic robe. Um, who wants that? It's a very useful stat booster to have. Um... Noah could use one. Yeah, I'm thinking Noah, Barth, and Roy. So try to buy three of them. Which can happen through the power of selling. <sighs> I'm, I'm upset about the way things have transpired. 
only I had more boots. I mean, at least Lot isn't too badly affected, right? At least Lot isn't too badly affected. Uh, someone needs to... Yeah, uh, b -b bum We just need to get two slots off of, uh, Chad. So that he might rob Narcian absolutely blind. Because, like, this... <laughs> that's not gonna go well for anyone involved. But... Let me just, um, borrow that right quick. And then we rescue, we dance for him, and then we drop him. Yep. That's how that one's gonna go. And then I hit the end turn button. I come back. I do it again. You know, just as Steely Dan asked us all to. I'll stop making that Steely Dan joke when I stop finding it funny. Which is never. Then... I mean, I'm not in danger of Douglas walling someone off somehow. So I guess I'll just... Yeah, you know, ride up there. Get Noah seven more health. Yeah, that sounds pretty good to me. Hit the end turn button. I don't know where Douglas is going, but... Ugh. Uh, how about this, given that I heal him? I don't like that very much either. But we'll just leave Roy right there. Maybe that'll work out for us, you know? Okay. Hitting the end turn button. I'm strong, I'm wise, I'm beautiful. Fair battle. The most fair battle to have ever battled. <sighs> he lost all of his movement. Why did he lose all of his movement? It's okay. Doesn't, doesn't bother me. Alright. Just wait right there. Now you've got a much better movement for a frontline fighter. Um, Barth could just use it because he didn't level up very much. So just getting him to pure tanky stats is going to be really nice. Um, yeah, I'll just hit and turn again. Uh-huh. That fight's gonna go somewhere eventually. Alright, you're I'm gonna need another angelic robe. And then I'm gonna need to make one thousand dollars. Which is doable. Certainly doable. And I really want it for my boy, Roy. I mean, I can at least see what Zisa's color palette looks like. Oh, Zisa's a woman. Alright, congratulations, miss. And we'll just put you right there. <sighs> the Elijah Whip. Because I'm not using Tate. Right? Like, I'm just not. That is the greatest standoff you've ever seen going on over there. Alright. Come on. Progress. That... It is almost hilarious, I'm not gonna lie. They just don't want to fight. Like, they straight up do not want that smoke. That's hilarious. Alright, come on. Narcian, Roy, progress the fight. Somehow. <laughs> I 
This is so dumb. Like, how? Also, what is your defense? Oh. Yeah, that explains a lot about the way that you currently are. Alright, we got somewhere. Roy now has more skill and luck, which means his hit rate probably just went up to 50. No, in fact, it doesn't even look like it changed. Whatever, but fine. Fine, fine. I... <laughs> Alright, Roy just decided to lock in, I guess. And another level up. Sure. Alright, now as soon as I can just sell this Elijah whip. Oh, OJ could use that. I don't think I'm deploying OJ. I think he had his time in the limelight. But I think units with more than five speed are the future. Secret, sell, the Elijah whip. I could buy two more angelic robes and then just be poor. I don't know who wants that other angelic robe, but they have it now. And now I'm done with this map. That was a never-ending string of we are so back to it is completely over. But we did it. Oh, no. Okay, so the boss is still a staff unit. Okay, that could be bad. That could be bad. Well, I mean, this staff unit is no longer a staff unit, which is great. But you are not a problem. You are, well, your speed's probably really high, but you're mostly not a problem. Um. Okay. As long as he's the only unit here with that, with like a staff that does anything. And it looks like he is. Alright, that's good. Okay, this map is incredibly less annoying now. Alright, that's great. That's great. He lost three move. I mean, I need to promote him. His stats are gonna fall off. But he lost three move. Three move. Five move. He had eight move. Hey. Well, I said, hey, welcome back as if this was the start of the episode. Nope, we just did a jump cut. It's been a long time, for me at least, in between recording that first bit and the second bit of this episode. Um, I was sick with a 102 degree fever that I'm actually still sick with, though it's only 100 degrees right now, but I feel better. I recorded everything for my Hector video, so even though it's been two seconds for you, in between these two parts has been a very long ordeal for me. Uh, but let me tell you, in order for my Hector character analysis to be made, I had to replay all of FE7 to get footage for Hector's cutscenes and stuff. Um, so I basically did a playthrough and a half of... FE7, and then I also, just to get two seconds of footage of Hector in the trial maps in FE6, I didn't have a file that had the game beaten, so I had to, um, I had to, like, the closest file I had was on Ghosts of Burn, so I had to play the last three chapters of FE6 Vanilla to get the trial maps open. Uh, basically... What I'm trying to say is that I am GBA FE'd out. <laughs> if you were hoping that the next Let's Play was going to be something FE7 or 8 related, 
or um like a fan hack like vision quest i don't want to look at game boy advance fire emblem in a bit i am gba feed out next let's play i don't know might be something on gaiden all right that is berserk its range is your magic Well, that's rather excessive. Alright. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. Okay. So everything is in his range. So basically, I just need to make sure that Lot is my restore guy. I just need to make sure that Lot is in the vicinity to uh to restore anyone that happens to read berserk god that is such a good manga i love berserk if someone says that they don't want to read it due to its subject matter that's completely fair i am not one of those fans that's like uh you need to be okay with all the graphic things in berserk no that's dumb uh, people are allowed to find it uncomfortable. Ah. Uh, what was I trying to say? Uh. But if you can put up with that, it was really good. I love, I love my Berserk. I still live in the delusion that it will be uh, finished one day. Even with, um... Miura's passing. Rest in peace. Alright, so you have eight movement. Alright, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So just put someone with a lance right here. Perfect. Clearing, you can back up. Your movement is also eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Uh, Rutger or Echid Echidna technically can level up more, so... We'll put you right there. And just to avoid any Berserk shenanigans, I'm just gonna... Yep. I'm just gonna keep everyone grouped up right here. Just let Lot restore everyone to full and we'll be good. Yeah. Though we are coming along in this Let's Play really well. I mean... There are what? Eight... Ch Whoa. Whoa. Hey now. Hey. You stop that. Um, Off-screen magical arrow bullcrap. Alright, staff, mend her. Mend her? I barely even know her. Alright. One more turn, and I'll be able to move freely. Let's go on, use your last berserk. Alright, cool. So, let's see here. Armor slayer, armor slayer, wow. They really do not like armors over there. I mean, well, okay. I mean, if that's how you're playing that, I'm sure. Oh, I meant to use an angelic robe on you, huh? Probably should have done that. Alright, what do you got? A steel sword, owl sword, thunder, and then just some bows? Well. Man, I really put my wyvern rider on the bow side and my um armor on the armor slayer side well i mean what lies beyond them I, uh, brave bow way too many swords for my liking all right so shauna can go down this way just don't let her get too close and uh dick will go that way as well 
Aha, uh -huh, perfect. Uh, Douglas, you're not really an actual fighter, all things considered. You're just there for the vibe. And then Rutger. Perfect. Aha, get bent. Man, I know that this Let's Play is maybe, like, a little under half, a little over halfway done, so it's still, like, a ways out. What's the next one gonna be? I know, I don't know how YouTube algorithm works, but, um... I know that me doing Let's Plays on the channel like this messes it up for views, which I don't really care about. This is a hobby. I'm not trying to be a YouTuber as a living. But I do know that uh, YouTube really likes this Let's Play series. It has consistently been getting, like, the most views of any Let's Play I've done. Which is really nice, I will admit. I quite enjoy the in attention because I am, in spite of everything, an attention-loving whore. But... Where was I even going with this? I, I genuinely don't know where I was going with this. Like, this Let's Play has been getting a lot of views. Um, I don't know if I'm doing something different or the out or like people just really like randomizer Let's Plays. But it's it's getting attention. And I very much appreciate it. Like, thank you all for watching. In fact, of all I forgot to use the angelic robe again. Of all places, um, Reddit DMs, someone DM'd me on Reddit, oh, Jesus, someone DM'd me on Reddit to say, hey, wait, are female nomad troopers only five movement? That's sad. Said, hey, you've been my favorite Fire Emblem YouTuber for years, um, keep up the good work, your FE6 randomized is awesome. And their name was, uh, something Grundler. Solomon Grundler or something like that. And it was really funny because it was a Reddit DM that started with, Hey, I'm sorry if this is weird and out of the blue. So I was immediately horrified at what it could be saying. But it was actually the sweetest thing. And just, um, a few days ago, someone also commented... I forgot about the Sword Weaver guy. Anyways, get bent. Someone commented on my video that was looking at um, Erica giving Leon the stone and discussing how that scene is actually really good and was like, I just went through this very toxic breakup and your words here really meant a lot to me. Thank you. And it's like, that's why I like making videos. Like, it's comments and stuff like that. I mean, I don't think this is ever going to be more than a hobby for me. I don't know. Maybe one day I'll make that character analysis video on, um... Fucking Noah or something. That pops off for 100,000 views and propels me into the, like, big upper echelons of a YouTube career. Where I start making genuine money off of YouTube. And then it will all come crumbling down when I say the N-word with a hard R or groom a minor. I'm not sure which yet. I'll cross that bridge when I get there. But it's it means a lot to me. All of your comments, all of your everything. This might be I might be in a mood just cuz it's kind of late at night. Um I'm still a little sick. And I'm just in that mood where I got to let the people I appreciate know that I appreciate them. But I really do appreciate you. It is marvelous. What the hell do you have? A spear? Alright, that's like... Mildly spooky. Crap, didn't the spear have some effect on it? Like, the, there was something about the spear that randomized into an effect. Was it an armor slayer? I think spears are armor slayers. I, I think. Alright, so you know what? <laughs> Here's what we're gonna do. 
I'm gonna remember to use that goddamn angelic robe. Alright. Shauna, you start us. I kind of really want to give Noah the kill. But... I mean, you know what? Maybe she won't crit. Ah, well. More, more kills for the goddess. Yes, ma'am. Let's go, baby. Alright. And then Noah... Actually, wait. What do you... You have a brave bow. Why do you have a brave bow? For what purpose do you need a brave bow? Well, 23 defense. <laughs> Only 15 attack. Wait, Noah could tank that. Works perfect for me. I really hope something randomizes into the boots soon. For my sake. I've gotten one pair of boots organically. I would love another boots. Call me Dora the Explorer the way I... Oh god, the way I get critical hitted! Oh, what kind of fucked up Dora have I been watching? If that can hit Rooker, he would die. I think... Yeah, no, he had 8 health. He... He would die. Alright, so... Let's discuss... Am I really going to use a fortify on this? I might just use a fortify on this. Because I don't know where the beams of light are going to come from. So I'm just not even going to risk it. I think one usage of fortify is worth potentially Rutger dying. Or not die. Pretend I said that sentence correctly. All right. Excellent work, Percival. Echidna, you go up there. Douglas, you just stay out of trouble. How long have I been recording for? Okay, not even close to done. I can probably finish this chapter. This chapter isn't a very long one. It's just very front-loaded with, um... With the status staves you have to worry about. And if I remember correctly, there's even more normally. Like, normally not... Alright, well, I forgot. Noah hasn't really been getting stats on level ups. But that's fine. Alright, everyone. Let us start the shmovement. Ah. Uh, what, what, what the hell was I talking about before? Oh, right. I also, um, I don't know if it's been impacting things at all, but I've been trying to do at least, you've probably been able to notice at this point in the Let's Play, given that this is episode, like, 21 or whatever, that I've been adding in some, uh, up, 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 uh, some personal, like, video edits, because normally I'm, I have a very laissez-faire approach to editing, um, where I don't. Nothing against, like, heavily edited, edited Let's Play content. It's just not the kind of thing that I make. Look, we're gonna see here. Speed of 16. Speed of 16. So this is gonna be a net neutral? Wait, how much does that weigh him down by? One. Alright, so, like, you're not gonna double. That's fine. Um. But I've been doing... I've been, at least for this Let's Play... Doing, like, one video edit per episode. Like, a joke I edit in that is not just me talking. I've been shooting for one of those a Let's Play. Let's Play. Yeah, the entire Let's Play gets one video edit. Yeah, um... So, you've probably noticed that. I do not know if it's been going well. But... Alright, let me, uh... Ah, oh, crap. Percival doesn't have his, uh... His thingamabobber anymore. His bow. Alright, what do you have? Oh, you have air caliber. And 23 speed. That is actually... Quite horrifying. 
in regards to who I have over here. Well, I mean, I gotta deal with that eventually. Oh, no. Oh, God! Are you kidding me? Alright, well... I didn't even have to fuck with that guy. I just assumed she would win... I forgot that the Silver Blade is absurdly powerful. I- it's been a while since I've recorded episodes for this. I genuinely forgot just how powerful that Silver Blade is. So. On a repeat run of this. I'm just- Oh, but its weight is ridiculous. That's the trade-off. Which is fair. But, like... Good God, the damage on that thing. Well... Looks like... If I end the episode right now... It'll be too early. But I really don't feel like having to play this entire chapter just to get five minutes of footage. So, 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 this is going to be my genius plan. I'm going to keep playing the chapter for a little bit, so when next episode starts, I can just start at the boss, but I'm not actually removing any footage because you saw me get to the boss on this quote-unquote failed attempt. Ho 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 Delightfully devilish, Steven. Alright, so this bitch just don't move. Otherwise, she definitely would have ran up and obliterated Rutger. So I'm going to put Echidna in the attack range of the Valkyrie, who can definitely murk her ass. I feel confident that she won't move. And if she does, it's not like this attempt is sticking around anyway. Ow. Or, no, that was this perfect space where no one was. Also, Lar, why do you have two spears? Like, for what reason are you the way that you are? You know what? I believe in Dick. He's going to get the critical. Well. Well. Um, anyways, as I was saying, I believe in, um, as I was saying, I believe in Roy, and he's just gonna get the critical. Damn, off by one damage. Alright. Got him, dead. And then I can deal with this paladin situation with my brave axe halberd. Why did I even try to use Dick? Why did I not just do this from the start? I love the way that effective weaponry and axes work so much. Because Clarine has 12 strength and 13 speed and she's just this powerful. I love her so much. Alright, uh, staff, mend, heal him up. How the fuck is this gonna work? Oh, that just straight up kills. You know, honest to God, I think I just don't move forward with this group. Like, honest to God. I think... Yeah, this group just stays put after this point. <laughs> that Valkyrie, God can have her, alright? Like, I ain't fucking with that. Ow. God, that animation is so cool. God, it is so cool. Ow. 
Alright, well, with that, I think I will see you guys on the next episode, where we will kill Sister Windham. Stupid fuck. When I get my own hands on a silver blade, um, it's gonna weigh down. That might actually be what propels Noah into god tier, because he's the only sword unit I have with enough... I might need to start getting a kid in a sword rank up. Oh, that's going to be so sexy for her. Rutger? Ooh. Oh. Once the Silver Blade stop being in enemy hands only, things are going to change around here. Until then, I'm just fucked.